Sugar is one of the biggest stresses that our body faces in modern modern life. You know that you know we know that sugar is the thing that drives the oxidative stress that, that causes a lot of you know the, the essential the rusting or aging of the body, uh, and that includes your bones, your cartilage, um, and, and all your other tissues. Like they actually brown over time as if you're being slowly cooked because of sugar. You know, and that doesn't happen if you take those things things out. So. You know, for kids, the biggest stresses, and I just saw it in a cafe the other day, this, you know, this young child, about six, and they're making a chocolate milkshake. They put, you know, three Oreo choc cookies in. They mixed it with um, chocolate sauce. Uh, then they added some other, some ice cream in there and a little bit of milk and a little bit of extra sugar, and they blended it, and they gave it to this little six-year-old. But honestly, that was enough sugar to, to run that child for 18 months. Right, and that's bang, there you go. And then that mum will get home thinking, she did that with love, right? She did that because she cares about the child. She wants them to have a good time. And yeah, the child has a good time, but that's like, you know, the equivalent of, of giving them cocaine because it's as addictive as that, right? And you create this sh huge spike in their blood sugar. Then they get home and the child's just, you know, behaviorally losing the plot two hours later. And then they're, they're home and they're screaming and they're losing the plot. And they're like, what's happened to my child? My child's gone crazy. And yeah, that's what happens when you feed them something that's highly addictive and spikes their brain chemistry so much. So yeah, it makes them feel good in the short term, but that comes at a really high cost. So we need to move away from that behavior and that reward system. And so, you know, again, kids, when they come home from school, they have that drop in blood sugar when they, as they you know, get home at three, so they can be irritable and grumpy. And they often will just raid the pantry and eat whatever they can find, which again is nearly always carbs and sugar. And then they, you know, don't eat healthy foods at dinner time. <laughs> so, you know, so that giving them exogenous ketones as soon as they get home, again, pops their energy up in a way that has them burning fat as their fuel source and not going for sugars. So it takes away that, that appetite that they have and, you know, gets them choosing healthier things by the time they get to dinner time. They naturally feel like eating healthier which is what we found. And that has a huge effect on behavior and focus and, and the functioning of the whole family unit. <coughs> in adults, the, um, you know, the, the, the key issues for sugar is obviously type two diabetes. It contributes to osteoarthritis. It really overgrows your microbiome. So that contributes to brain fog and fatigue and, when, and, and also anxiety and depression. So then you get caught up in that cycle where you know you're tired so you drink coffee coffee spikes your insulin then you eat more sugar then you you come home and you're wired and and, and tired so then you need a, a wine and then you know and then people are in this constantly you know destructive cycle which is what's called normal <laughs> but, but leads people into these chronic states of dysfunction you know because you you're feeling crap so therefore you you don't make great choices and therefore you're irritable and that's not very good for you as a parent and that's not really good for you as a spouse and it brings out those lower levels of your personality type so you know the importance of it can't be underestimated this is not a small deal this is not just this oh you should do this because it's a good idea you know this is like this you know this pattern is contributing to so much dysfunction in people's lives you know not just their health but their relationships and how much fun they're having and the choices they make and those little choices in every moment really determine where you end up you know, and, and it plays a huge factor over time. So, you know, I think giving people easy ways to make these transitions into, you know, higher states of living is just so critical. And, and Keto OS is that sort of supplement that um, can act as a meal replacement, but it also can help to just supplement a, a, a really good transitional diet for people. And, you know, honestly, they can't, you know, once they're a couple of weeks into it, they can't believe how different they feel, you know, and it's, uh, and it's just a no-brainer because it takes all the, the stress out of sh that shift to ketosis, which would normally take three or four days and require fasting and really specific dietary interventions, which you know, people find challenging to do that and go about their, their normal life. You know? It's okay to do that when you're on a retreat and you've got nothing else to do, but you know, trying to manage kids and run businesses or, or work in demanding jobs, and, and that's quite a hard thing to pull off and therefore not generally sustainable unless they have a huge degree of uh, self-regulation, which, you know, that's a small proportion of people. <laughs>